This is Apparently Your Life. Hello and welcome to This is Apparently Your Life. Tonight we highlight the life and career of Dar Darren, Darren Hinch. Darren Hinch. Sure. Darren Nigel Hinch was apparently born on the 9th of February 1944 in a ditch. Sorry, across the ditch in New Zealand. Sorry. Well, well. <laughs> so your name is not Darren. It's Darren. Yes. With an E. Mm -hmm. It says here they call you the human headline. Shouldn't you be called the human typo? <laughs> Could be. I mean, have you ever met another Darren? I haven't. It's weird. My theory always was that my mum and dad got drunk at my christening. I was going to be a girl, apparently. My name was going to be Darylin, or Derylin, which is the... In New oh, Zealand, beautiful they, have, they have all those weird made-up names. Yeah. And so when I came out as a boy, she named me Darren, so my mother made it up. You heard it here first. Darren Hinch came <laughs> out as a boy. <laughs> True. And it says here you were once a bit of a sex symbol. We've got here on screen, this is when you posed in oh. Playboy. Oh. Now, these pictures here, were you reading the newspaper post-coitus or is this clean-up? That was a professional model. She seems very professional. And uh, we did have knickers on, so... Well, was... it's good to have standards. She was a very pretty girl. Daryl, I'm just reading here, you've had an incredible media career, apparently. As someone who has worked in newspapers, television, radio, which would you say is your favourite medium to have been fired from? I think I've been fired 16 times. 17 if you count when I lost the Senate vote. I so. call that firing. It's kind of the ultimate firing. Yeah, the tribe has spoken, I yeah. suppose, yeah. Oh, and you went to jail in 1987 for your views on pedophiles. Were you for or against? <laughs> I mean, I, I named serial pedophiles and I deserve to go to jail, but I would do it again. Malcolm Fraser, Bob Hawke, John Howard, fuck, marry, kill. Hmm? Do you want to know mine? I'd marry Fraser, I would kill John Howard, and I guess I'd fuck Bob Hawke? Because whoever doesn't want to fuck Bob Hawke is a bum. Because of the thing that he said. Hmm, OK. What was your proudest moment in politics? Was it your impassioned maiden speech or the time you fell asleep on your first day? Well, they got me, didn't they, uh, falling asleep? Uh, on the, on, that was on the first day. Had you had some Fenergan? <laughs> Ever prolific, you wrote a 67-page book on how to do Wordle. Mm. Isn't it just guessing the word? No, it's, there's skill involved. If you get the first word, <laughs> you um, that's a fluke. But after that, with the greens and the yellow letters coming up... All right, moving on. After a lifetime of heavy drinking, you developed liver cancer and needed a liver transplant. And we've got a voice from your past here. Can you guess who this is? He made me sick. I am better off without him. That's right, Darren. It's your old liver. Oh, 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 oh that's... Yeah, that's disgusting. I, was, I, I drank far too much. I was stupid. Mm. Um, but it wasn't that that, that that gave me cancer. It didn't help. But I, no, it didn't help. Doreen, you've been sacked from 16 jobs, had five marriages, lost three elections and been in jail twice. Have you ever considered maybe the problem is you? No, I hadn't, but you're probably right. Thanks for coming in. This was apparently your life. Well, thank you, Cyril. This is apparently your life.